Good afternoon, Coach. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for having us. Welcome to HSBM Media Days. It's good to see you. Can you introduce yourself and the players you brought here? And then after that, give us an overview of your program for this upcoming season. Sure. Chris Brigman, head coach of Florida Christian. Uh, to my right, senior third baseman, Javier Gorostola. Uh, next to me, catcher, senior catcher, Matthew Say. Uh, senior catcher, Giancarlo Chantres. And senior outfielder, Keanu Rodriguez. And tell us what's upcoming for this for the season for you guys. Uh, we're excited. Uh, we like our club a lot. Uh, 15 seniors. So wow. we're... We're an older club. We're one one year more experienced, um, and we're just we're we're ready to get the season rolling. Coach, you guys finished eighteen and ten last year. Is that correct? It is. And it ended. You know, it was against Westminster, correct? Yes. Um, and so they're up there on your schedule, like first, I think, in March third or something like that. Seventeenth. Uh, Seventeenth. Mm -hmm. So is that a game you guys are looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, every year, obviously, that's, you know, that's the, the, the rival game, and it's always, you know, circled. I'm sure it's circled on their schedule like it is on ours, and, uh, you know, uh, have a lot of respect for that program. Uh, we enjoy just, you know, matching up and, and competing against them each and every year. Players, same question. You know, is there, like, a revenge game for you, or is it just another game? It's a revenge game for sure. Yeah. Now you host the Adidas tournament near the beginning of the season. What's it like serving as the host for a tournament every year? Yeah, that's something that we've done uh, for several years now. And we just we try to bring in, obviously, local teams from Dade County. We have some teams that come from Broward. So it, it's, uh, it's a cool way to start the season. Um, and then you know, we get to see a whole week of, of really good baseball. Returning 15 seniors, I mean, that's, that's not something that every club you know, has. Uh, speaks to your program but you know for, for you guys what, what's it mean to you you got a good group of players that you guys have been with for years is, is, is this the year to do it I feel like this year is very special because we have like a good chemistry everybody's back together I feel like this year out of all years I think we have a really good shot and I think that's our goal this year uh, and there's some uh, college <coughs> commitments on the team right uh, someone here yeah. Uh, Florida, Florida Gulf Coast. Okay. And there's a, is there a Miami too on the team? Yeah. So uh, just talk a little bit about you know the recruiting experience, uh, balancing you know high school and wanting to go to the next level in, in Chono. Well, it was pretty easy with the help of first off Brigman. I was previously committed to FIU, didn't pan out how I wanted to. Um, his connection to Merv led me to what I ended up having now at FGCU, and it's just really playing the whole 12 months of the year as hard as you can to see and get better for February to May, hopefully all the way to the end of May and end up with the state championship. Uh, one of the non-committed players, just talk about, you know, does that make you guys play at another level when you know you have teammates that are getting college looks, potentially, you know, college scouts going to come and maybe notice you? Yeah, definitely. It makes me want to play harder and be at their level and hopefully scouts look at us and hopefully get something out of it. Talk about the balance that you instill in your in your players for balancing schoolwork, well on the you know on the field. How does that does that plays a, a lot into your program? For sure, talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. I mean, we talk about our prior priorities a lot. Obviously, it's God first, family second, um, academics, and then what we really spend the most time doing together is baseball, and that's really number four on the list. Um, and that's just something that that has, has always been part of our program. Um, and we just we, we preach it and, and seem to re-preach that every year. Going back to the seniors thing, 15, I mean, obviously only nine guys can be on the field at once. You know, maybe you get another guy in a game or something. But uh, how much competition is there on your field right now? I mean, every, every one of those kids has to want to play, and you guys are probably fending off some of your friends to stay in your position. Yeah, uh, every year is a new year. Um, we're, we're too deep at every spot. Uh, particularly on the mound, so it's been uh, it's been open competition. It's been good competition uh, all fall long, and even now as we as we've started uh, official practice with inter squads and things like that. So uh, yeah, we're uh, you know we're looking for the best nine guys that are going to give us a chance to win each and every night. Play perspective. I feel like it pushes the team to do even better, which is what as a program we would want. And so just having that fire 
to like be inside you is just what you need. And you guys uh, finished, I, I know you lost in the district final, but you ended up going to regionals, correct? Yeah. yeah. Um, so is the goal to make it one pass regionals this year? Yeah, I mean, last year on the bus coming back from the tournament in Georgia, we were one in five. Um, and not really, not a clear <laughs> um, perspective on where this season was headed. Uh, we got back home, got resituated, and then two separate win streaks. One was, I think, five games in a row, uh, and then towards the end was eight in a row, uh, rolling into the district tournament. And then, yeah, we had a chance there in the district final and slipped up, and, and but, you know, thankfully with our strength of schedule and, and the number of, of wins that we had put together um, in that latter part of the season, you know, got us a chance, got us in the regional, and we were able to we were able to get that first one. Um, and I think we were we were what down we were down six one I think in the fifth, yeah. um, and found a way uh, to get to that next round regional, second round regional, and just you know just didn't have enough, you know, matched up at, at against Westminster at Westminster, tough place to play, um, and just came up short. Um, yeah, I mean, just I think just having the same core group of guys together. Uh, we only graduated three seniors last year, um, and I attribute a lot of our success to not only this group but that that small group of seniors that that really helped us change the narrative uh, from the year prior, uh, coming off an 11 and 14 campaign. So, a um, lot of credit to them. But this year. Um, the core group, another year's experience, another year, you know, being battle tested uh, with a tough schedule. Um, yeah, I, I think that that's probably the, the thing that sticks out the most is just having uh, where we've come from and, and, and where we have a chance to go. Hey, Coach, you come out to uh, HSBM Media Days every year. Why is it important for you to participate Oh, this is just great, you know, great exposure um, for the guys, everything that, you know, that you guys do from the preseason with the website and then all the way to the end with the All-Star Game. Um, you know, it's just, um, it's a great experience, not only for for us as coaches to talk about our club, but for, for our players to, you know, to be exposed and, and get to talk a little bit about, you know, what their goals are. And at the end of the day, it's about them. Any of the players want to share some of the goals of uh, this year for both themselves and the team? Being a Final Four, I think, is the only goal that we could think of, you know? And that's the only thing I think we're shooting for. And what's the dynamic of the team right now? <coughs> what do you guys describe it to me? <coughs> uh, beat, ready. ready. Ready for the season to start okay. and then just the Any whole jitters for the season? Well, I, I think as seniors, we shouldn't have jitters. We've, most of us have done this three or four years. We're just ready to get going and start doing what we're supposed to do. Coach, you want to sum it up for, for, your, for your club this year? Uh, just, um, just laser focus on the goal. Uh, we're going to come in every day, work, work hard every day, and uh, each and every night out, there's no, there's no nights off on our schedule. Um, and we're just, you know, we're ready to see how far we can go. Best of luck to you. Thank you. And thank you again for being here. Appreciate and, uh, it. We'll see you on the field. Absolutely. Looking forward to it.